So I'm going to go ahead and be honest with you, it is not actually Friday when I'm recording this. I'm hopefully not going to be able to record that much and edit that much on Friday. I say hopefully because the main reason why I'm not going to have that much time to record and edit on Friday is because my cousin Emily and myself are going up to Ann Arbor to hear our cousin Ben sing with the Cornell Glee Club. And last we heard of him, he was stuck in Iowa. And it was just him, from the sounds of it. I'm still not really sure how that happened. So, I'm not really sure what's going to happen if Ben's not there, because he's really the only reason we're going up, so... We'll see what happens. So just to let you know, I'm not recording this on Friday, but I will be posting it on Friday. Another thing I wanted to let you know is that I'm still going to do the whole reaction to my classes thing. You may remember at the end of last semester I did a response to my original thing and all that kind of stuff. But I'm not going to be doing it in the video, I'm actually going to be doing it in blog form. So I will post a link to that in the doobly-doo down there. Once I actually post it, I may not get it written on Friday for the aforementioned reason, but I will post it and do all that kind of stuff so you can read that if you want to. And to be honest, I don't really have anything else to talk about today. I just wanted to let you know about the blog and about the whole Friday... Th about the whole Friday thing, so I, um... Excuse me. H who are you? Oh. My name is Lester. Lester. Yes. Okay, what are you doing? I'm dusting. You're dusting. Yes. You're dusting paper. Yes. Why are you dusting paper? Do you know how much dust collects on these? You sleep in this room. Yeah, but it hasn't really affected my sleeping patterns that much. Well, I'm just trying to help. I don't need to be disrespectful. Okay. Well, I have something to talk about now. So, the word respect is not necessarily the easiest word to define. Which is not to say that there aren't definitions in the dictionary. There are, but there are actually quite a lot of definitions for respect and it can all get kind of confusing and you don't necessarily know how one would define respect. I'm gonna go ahead and give my own personal definition for respect. I have two things that I feel earns you respect, and I'm going to give two examples for those two things, and then I'm going to explain why this individual does not deserve respect. First reason to earn respect is to do something that is respectable in some way. An example of this is the Green Brothers. I don't know them personally. I mean, I kind of do because I watch their videos, but I don't know them face to face, but I still respect them. I respect them because they've formed this community based on acceptance and based on imagining others complexly and they do everything within their power to decrease world suck and to donate money to good causes and to do all that kind of stuff. And these things are very respectable, and for that reason, they have earned my respect. The second way to earn respect is to give respect. A good example of this is the wonderful youth theater director at the Mansfield Playhouse, Daphne Maloney. She respects every single person she works with, from the smallest child to the adults who work backstage. And because she respects everybody, she in turn gets respect. So now we look into why this individual doesn't deserve respect. The first reason to get respect, you have to do something that is respectable. And what have you done? You've yelled at people for not dusting paper. Not really respectable, is it? Second reason, you have to give respect to get respect. Now, I'm not sure if you know this, but uh, I'm 20. I say I'm not sure why you know this, because you have this tendency to treat me like I'm five. I haven't been five for 15 years, and I find it extremely insulting that you still treat me like I'm five. And I have to say, treating me like a child, and treating other people who aren't children like a child, 
is not really going to earn you respect, because it's not respect. And really, if you don't respect us, why the hell should we respect you in return? Now, I suppose maybe you think that you've earned respect simply because you're the elder, but, um, that's not how it works. To get respect, you have to earn respect. You're not just gonna get it because you happen to be older than us. So maybe if you stop treating us like children and stop yelling at us for not dusting paper, then maybe you'll earn respect. Until then, you're not gonna get respect, and the reasoning for that is very simple. You don't deserve it. People should not just give out respect willy-nilly. It's something that has to be earned. It's something that is not easy to receive, and it shouldn't be. And quite frankly, that is all I have to say on this subject. I'm curious as to what you think of respect, though, and if you agree with what I say, or disagree, either way, let me know down in the comments. And that's all I have to say. You have anything else to say, Lester? Your room is atrocious. Bye.